There you go. There you go. Got it all in there. Mm. That is not good. Hi, everybody. It's Terry Stacy and... Joe Stasniak. <laughs> The baby New Year, apparently. Joe is going to make a beautiful cocktail, and I'm going to make kind of a, a crafty food item for New Year's. So What's what do you think called? about that? Mine is called Drunken Oreos. Yes. Drunken Oreos, and what are you making? Okay, everything. I don't like a lot of prep time. That's the thing. So you can always find festive bottles like wow. this Heineken. That's very That's large. very, very cool. You That's pop the large. cork, something fun like that. Tara, I know you and I, we love the eggnog, and there's no better. It, it's been a great year for the nog. Yeah. So let's get some of this. Okay, let's so just gonna get, get this the, started. Eggnog. Okay, you go All ahead right. and do that. And right. again, it's pre mixed. Now, a lot of folks want to have uh, eggnog. Oh, that they looks don't delicious, know. Oh, Joe. It, it is. It's been in the freezer. Some... Oh, oh, That's the key. Then cool. you don't need to water it down with ice cubes. Okay, chug, oh, I don't chug, know chug, about chug, chug. I, I just don't maybe have one of them. Ah, yeah, that's good. Oh. And you know what? It is so wow. smooth. Is that real eggnog? You know why it's smooth? Is because it uses brandy. I think the brandy's the sweetest and kind of mixes best. You can also use bourbons. You want a can? I wish more. Shoot no, it. I don't think I should. I All don't right. think I should. But <laughs> other things you can do. So anyway, you use brandy again, along with the uh, cream de menthe. Oh, I like so that. So you gotta like mix it. But what do you think the secret well. ingredient is? The secret ingredient is probably, I don't know what it is, Joe. Milkshake! Oh, you've got a you milkshake. You need a vanilla milkshake. So you just put your milkshake in there. And again, this is all time-saving stuff. Okay. And while Joe is doing that, while Joe is making that, I'm going to be making the drunken Oreos, which I know is one of Joe's favorites. You're going to take an Oreo. You're going to just open it up and scrape the insides. That's what I'm doing at this oh. time, Joe. You just scrape the, the insides. That's the best part. Oh, I mean, they keep breaking. Yes. By the way, and equal part. Broke too. Equal part. <laughs> oh, this one broke also. <laughs> this one broke too. <laughs> maybe the Oreos oh, aren't broken. Oh, this one broke too. <laughs> I think maybe the maker's already drunk. Wow, I'm not oh, this one just broke. <laughs> Terry, wow. that broke again. They're cracking. They're cracking again. right down the middle. I wouldn't get mine at a mm. store that rhymes with Margaret. Okay. <laughs> you can see the nice green color, but we need a way to decorate our drinks. Can we do something? Can we do like a, sw a swizzle stick? Oh, here we go. Well, you got oh, one right thank there. You so much. Oh, we should cheer. cheers. Cheers. Okay. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> you tweak it a little bit. It's equal parts of brandy and cream de menthe. Maybe a little yes. bit more cream de menthe. And then it's a wow. breath freshener. Wow. So I'm going to make um, these beautiful toppers for them. And that means making snowflakes. And we all remember oh, making perfect. snowflakes when we were children. And so this is kind of that same premise. These are snowflakes like you used to make when you were children. Here. Um, and you can put them on your swizzle stick. Here, this is the best way to dunk Oreos. And then you put those right alcohol. in there and you make a nice. What is that? That's a snowflake. Looks like a spider. I wanted to show you how to make these oh crafts, how to make these Oreos drunken. Found what two the good world Oreos, happens there? Two bottoms. I'm gonna put the two. Duh! <laughs> <laughs> what work? I don't understand. I'm just so stuff. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. <laughs> Happy 2019. Happy 2019.